Hello and welcome to What's in This Week's Open Times with me, Cathy Griffiths. And me, Sandy Neal. Well, we've had an action-packed week here at the Open Times, but don't we always? So I've been talking to people at was what was known as the MS Therapy Centre down Glen Cruton Road. They've now changed the name to Oxygen Oban. Um, they're fundraising because uh, they've actually got a plan to start making their own oxygen so they don't have to rely on deliveries of supplies and they know they'll never run out. So there's a bit of a fundraising campaign going on there. They're also looking for volunteers to come and uh, learn how to operate the oxygen chamber where lots of people can go and book uh, sessions in there to help with their um, with their health um, not just with MS it could be anything from arthritis to other sort of um, conditions like cancer all sorts of people can benefit from this therapy so check that out in the open times also looking for things to do this weekend we've got tunnel games returning hurrah Hooray. I hear you say yes that's going to be a great day out let's hope the sun shines um, also I don't know if you like t- do you know what a tatty bogle is Sandy? I do. Good. And Just I'm not checking. going to I'm not going to spoil the suspense. <laughs> Okay, well, Seal Seal Scarecrow Festival starts on Saturday as well. That's going to run for a week. So get yourselves to Seal, go on the Scarecrow Trail. Loads and loads of things happening during the week from a golf competition to oh, try a row in a skiff or you can skim stones across one of the, uh, the ponds near the village hall. There's a live music night. There's pottery workshops. There's even drumming workshops and a drumming performance. Oh, and vintage cars this Saturday and live music music in uh, Eleanor Beck Square starting at one so there you go and uh, if you like your fish and chips well Oban fish and chips along uh, George Street have taken third place do you like it place Sandy do oh you get it? yeah that's a cod one. <laughs> Ooh, okay all right so uh, you, can, <laughs> you can cut that out I'm so ashamed <laughs> no no don't be ashamed don't be ashamed <laughs> nothing to be ashamed of so yeah there's been a, there's the uh, National Geographic Muse- um, National Geographic magazine has come up with a seaside selection of top 10 chippies in the UK so uh, there we are Oban Fish and Chips putting Oban on the map um Sandy what have you got for us well, thank you very much, Cathy. Well, it's Judgment Day for Argyle and Loch Harbour Kirks. We have the full list of those churches proposed for closure over the next five years. It's also crunch time for the school clusters plan. Dalmally Primary School parents have launched a petition calling on the council to scrap its plans to replace head teachers with executive heads before it goes to a vote on August the 25th. Islanders are worried that both of Isla's ferry ports will not be ready in time for the two new bigger Calmac ferries, which are due to arrive in 2024. My goodness, the suspense builds. And a new documentary has focused on three young women who volunteer for the RNLI in Oban. You can read all uh, our stories um, online and you can also pick up a copy um, of the Open Times in the usual places. Um, we love hearing your stories. Please do contact us on um, Facebook and also by emailing editor at opentimes.co.uk. Um, and I think that's it from me. Cathy, have you got anything else to add? <laughs> I might do. <laughs> Of course, you can also give us a call if you like on 01631 568000 if you've got any stories and send us your pictures. Let us see what you've been up to um, while we've had this wonderful summer that's now hitting uh, a couple of days. And let's hope we get <laughs> let's hope we get a bit more sunshine coming our way. Uh, also in the OT, we've got the usual sports roundup for you. So uh, keeping you all on your toes there. Uh, well, that's it from us this week. So it's goodbye from me, Kathy Griffiths. And goodbye from me, Sandy Neal. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hey.